Hello everybody. Uh, this is going to be a quick video explaining how you're going to do your practice exercise, um, your typeface classification practice exercise, which is due here in a few days. So what you're going to do is you're going to open Photoshop. You're going to go to File or Create New. As usual, we're going to go to Print. 8.5 by 11, letter 8.5 by 11, double click, and it's going to create a new blank document for us. Now, this is just going to be a quick text heavy um, assignment. So, what we're going to do is grab your text box, wait until you see your text loaded. Hold on, give me just a second. Okay, and you're going to draw a box from about the top to close to the bottom. Lorem Ipsum is going to come up. Uh, let's go ahead and change our text size to about 14, maybe 16. And I can go ahead and backspace. Now, I told you that you're going to write your name five times in serif, five times in sans serif, five times in script, and five times in decorative. So let's go ahead and type out serif. And then I'm going to write my name out correctly five times, if I can spell it correctly. Okay, and then you're going to, whoops, <laughs> I do that all the time. And then you're going to skip a line, click sans serif. And if you want to save time, you can just select your name, Control C on your keyboard, Control C will copy, Control V will paste. Whoops, Control V will paste. So there's one, two, three, four. I need one more. Okay, then I'm going to click and then I'm going to type out decorative. Put my name down five times. And then finally, script. Then my name five times. Now we're going to go looking for fonts that meet this criteria. So remember, serifs have the little pedestals. Serifs have the little pedestals. So I'm going to select this. Go up here where it says Myriad Pro. That's your font selector. And let's find a font. Here's one. It says Modern Number 20. That has the serifs. It has the pedestals. Now remember, fonts aren't always going to come out and tell you, hey, I'm a serif. Hey, I'm a sans serif. Hey, I'm decorative. Hey, I'm script. So it's, you're going to have to rely on your eye to really be the judge. Okay, I'm going to select this second line, and I'm going to find a text. Uh, and you have dozens and dozens of text to work with. So eventually you're going to find one. Sometimes it may be tricky to find one. Um, here's one, uh, Euphorgenic 5. I think that has, yep, that has pedestals. It's a little smaller, so it's kind of hard to see, but it does. I'm going to choose one more. Let's see. I'm seeing a lot of decoratives, which is good. Um, let's see, Mongolian Baiti has serifs. Okay, so that's a good example. Now let's. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys do the last two on your own. Let's go ahead and go to sans serif. The default font that we opened with is a sans serif, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Let's go ahead and move on to the second line. Um, Myriad. Uh, Myriadnug GD is a sans serif because it doesn't have any of the pedestals, so I'm going to keep that. Select my third line of text. Let's go towards the top and see if we can find anything there. Eris Bold ITC, that is a sans serif, so they're all looking very similar. A lot of your fonts will look very similar, um, but they won't be the same. For example, Eris, this is Eris Bold. This is the Myriad GD, and this is Myriad Pro. Okay, decoratives are going to be really easy to find because they really stand out. 
for example, medieval scribbish is a decorative. Means of malice is a decorative. Remember, they're very distinguishable. They're very unique. Metal macabre is a decorative. So Photoshop has a lot of decorative fonts, which is really good in our case. And now remember, script are going to be the fonts that look like handwriting. Okay, so they look like handwriting. So rage italic would be a script let's go ahead and select another palace script it actually says script in the title palace script MT is a script it's very small I'm gonna select this and let's grab parchment parchment is a script once again it is very small if I wanted to I probably could stand for this all to be a little bit bigger. Maybe something like that. Now, um, I'm not grading on artistic merit or anything like that, so don't think this has to look extraordinary. I just want to see that you understand the four styles, characteristics, classifications of fonts, of typeface, okay? I would do it all in one text box so you're not struggling with several different text boxes. To get back into a text box once it's closed off, just grab your text tool, double click this T down here that represents your text, and it's going to open up your text again. That's the easiest way to open up your text. And then you can click from uh, line to line, okay? Be careful when you try to click in with your text tool because if I try to click into this text, right here and I come over here somewhere over here it's gonna think I want to create another text box and that's just gonna be caught that's gonna cause headaches so let's not do that okay so just try to use one text box okay that's gonna cause us that's gonna save us a lot of headaches so of course go to save save as save on your computer you can call it type face exercise put it in documents digital art save and then you will turn it in once you're completed so once again you're finding five serifs five sans serifs five decorative and five script you will write your first and last name you don't have to write your full legal name this isn't the DMV okay um, you're just going to write your first and last name, and you're going to find uh, those classifications. So I hope you guys got a lot out of this. Um, if you have any more questions, please email me. I will be available. Um, I hope you're able to achieve this project with ease and get it submitted by the deadline, which I think is next Tuesday. So please enjoy, have a good time, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.